Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Hope you're all doing well. If you're new, please do smash that subscribe button. Um, so yeah, this is a channel for Virgos. If you're new, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, please be mindful, you guys. I do messages every day, uh, just about daily. So some days it may be different and resonate and not resonate. It really just depends. Take everything with a grain of salt. Don't try to force anything. All right. Um, if I do an extended reading, I'll let you know throughout the reading and um, I'll post a link below in the description box. Okay. All right, you guys. Hello, everyone in the chat. Let's see. What are the messages for love for Virgos in July? Virgo sun, moon, rising, or Venus? Love messages, messages overall. What does Virgo need to know? Love. <laughs> what does Virgo need to know with their love lives? Anything new coming in? Is the past shit stain showing back up? What's going on here? And even if they do, some of you are like, who cares? But I got to give the messages the way they come out. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to do a Celtic cross. All right. But first, we're going to start here with a couple of, okay, the sword and the rose, clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. Beautiful. Very beautiful. Okay. Some truth coming out. You're going to get some revelation about something in July. Um, let's see some clarity. I see you being like a force to be reckoned with. You are Virgo. You are a force to be reckoned with in July. Wow, I swear to God with this card. We're like, I can't. I can't keep doing this card. Kisses. <laughs> Wait. I'm sorry. Okay, kisses. Unconditional love. Giving and receiving. Affection. Falling in love. What the? What's going on, Virgo, with this card? Why do you keep getting this? Oh, my goodness. I, you see me shuffling. Look, I'm shuffling. Every day I'm shuffling. Okay, abundance, keeping a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want, gratitude and bliss. All right, Virgo. <laughs> Virgo, maybe you're just giving kisses to yourself. Maybe you're just unconditionally loving self, giving and receiving to self, self hugs, falling in love with yourself, waking up, seeing the abundance that's around you, going after your bliss in July, beautiful energy. And some of you gaining clarity and getting truthful with yourselves about people, places, and things. All right, let's get into the Celtic cross. Hopefully I can fit it on my screen here, but let's see what the love messages are. What's going on for Virgo? What is Virgo's energy going on here? All right, so past. Here you go. Ace of Swords again. The past could have been an hour ago, but there's truth, clarity, crystal clear, everything crystal clear. Okay. Understanding exactly what is and what isn't. Okay. In the past, the present, oh, you got the Ten of Pentacles crossed by Three of Pentacles running the show is the Four of Wands crowning on you, your thought process, what's coming down on you, temperance. The near future, the Six of Swords, position of you, the Hanged Man. Oh, whomever's external to you. Let me see if I can move these a little bit. Um, three of Swords, hopes and wishes. Ace of Cups. Oh, Five of Cups showed up in reverse. The outside with the Queen of Cups. Okay. Bottom of the deck, Virgo. You have, all right, I got to bring it to you. You've got the, let me show you the queen of <coughs> sorry the queen of wands so virgo this is like you your energy <coughs> excuse me all of a sudden you have um this boldness about you this fierce boldness popular like nobody's effing with you virgo in july you're not let you're not having it okay i see you you know being very popular focusing on what's going on in your life right some of you are Wow. Okay. You have the Queen of Swords here. Oh, so I feel like in the past, that's what they're telling me. The Queen of Wands and the Six of Cups. Okay. Male, female energy. So in the past, you were really 
you were brave. Okay. Um, some of you went back to a past situation. You took a risk. You were bold. Um, sometime in the past, tried to make some kind of connection. You know, Virgo, I feel like this is your energy. And I feel like what I want to show you, this is before, this is who you were before. Okay. In your past, but now this is who you are now. Queen of Swords, male or female energy with the Eight of Cups. It's like getting real with yourself and going after your Ninth Cup, your bliss. This is like truth, clarity. Um, maybe in the past you were more active, you know, like you had a lot more physical action attached to you. You were much more braver. But now you're being more brave with your communication and your words and that self-talk to yourself about what you want in your life and what you're doing. Okay, and the Eight of Cups is like, you're taking some kind of journey, I feel like. Um, whether that's physical journey or it's a metaphysical journey, whatever it might be in your life, you're embodying. So most, so I do feel like maybe you're on the cusp of Leo Virgo or you have some like fire in your chart, but you were embodying, um, when you were younger, you were much more of a doer than a thinker but i think now you know you're you're much more of like thinking about what the heart wants like you're really having that conversation with yourself that self-talk sorry if you can hear my grandson in the background um it's funny because whenever i do a video and i start it he's not here and then he winds up being here when i'm doing it so here you are you've got the eight of wands here okay you're getting yourself out of grief no more regret, no more remorse. You're moving on, balancing things out in your life, and you're taking charge. You're being more assertive. You're having some kind of a wake-up call in your life here, okay? And, and it's all about your strength and your power and your courage. So you're making like some huge changes, I see, in your life. And it's all because in like in the recent past or distant past, you came to some clarity. You came to some truth. What is this truth? You realize something the the ace of swords for me is always like that light bulb moment you know where you just have like this you can see there's that song i can see clearly now i feel like it, something came to you this is like a big old exclamation point in the sky like boom you had some kind of wake up let me see what was this wake up what was this clarity oh about who the f you are virgo you realize, Virgo, uh, and if you haven't, you know, maybe at, at some point you had an inclination that you are very stable and abundant. You have always been, okay? And, and waking up to that in the past, realizing your worth, because pentacles are all about the value and the worth. And waking up to who you are, your worth, your value, what, what you need. Oh, King of Wands is here. Okay, I'm just going to say it. Virgo, you're looking for someone who comes in with that alpha energy. I feel like Virgo, in the like way in the distant past, maybe you were younger, you had some kind of alpha energy or uh, something like that about you where you were very much take the lead. But I feel like you, in the past, you came to realize that you need to be a leader again in your life and not be a doormat. And that might be what the wake up call is about or what you're real. Yeah. See, okay. And for some of you came to some truth or waking up about, um, some, someone, maybe fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or you're looking, looking for someone that can match your energy. That's that's what you're waking up to. And if that was just an hour ago or right now or 10 minutes ago, nine minutes ago since I started this reading, waking up to your truth, okay? That's the truth. You know, you have your abundance, but you also, I feel like, said to yourself, you know, I need somebody that's going to be able to match my energy. I can't, you know, I don't know why, what was going on in the past Okay. Huh. I don't know. Opportunity for love that you know what you're worth. There's the Queen of Swords again. So yeah, there's like all this energy showing up here. Maybe you were connected to someone or married or in a relationship with someone 
who was um, an air sign or uh, there was a connection with that person but I don't feel like that person really matched your energy yeah it might have been like oh maybe in some regards there was friendship of some sort but anyway let's get into this reading the present energy is the ten of pentacles that's the Virgo card so your present energy is basically like stability uh, working hard having your you know all your bills paid having your cabinets filled having all the tools you need in the garage you know having your abundance leaving a legacy inheritance just extreme stability living well it could have something to do with wealth and i feel like maybe right now because the three of pentacles is here i feel like what you're doing is working on that if you don't already have that you're working on that okay you're doing whatever you can do. You keep, you're you're in a position where you keep learning. You're still learning. You're seeking knowledge. You're crafting. You're building something, and and it, because you're trying to have that with that present, either you're building upon a stable foundation or you're building to create one right now in your life, in your love life, with your career, every every area of your life. So I see that here for you now. And what's driving you is having a strong footing and a foundation and for some you know being in a partnership with someone who rejoices with you the the connection you know that it's, it's always like a celebration having someone in your life family community others who celebrate with you who enjoy with you okay um and I feel like this is what you want. I don't know. It looks like the past was more or less you had a connection with someone, but you guys weren't. The energy didn't match up in totality. Maybe some areas it did, certain things, but I feel like you're kind of in this place now where it's like, hmm, okay, there were some things that were okay, but this wasn't my person. And I feel like maybe you're getting that clarity now where it's like maybe you wanted it to be more than because there were some other factors that were really great but it feels to me like maybe you in the past said well we'll just be casual acquaintances or we'll just be friends or maybe that's as far as it got you know um because the two is always kind of like just the beginning right and for some reason something didn't you matched there was a familiarity, but it wasn't in totality, is how I feel. All right, so crowning the reading, you have temperance. So Sagittarius energy here. So this is peace and harmony. You know, um, this is like what's coming like coming down upon you. Like that's the light. The light that's shining down is the light of temperance. It's peace, harmony, it's balance. It's getting yourself in this like a good mindset, a mindset of peacefulness. I don't, you know, maybe you left a past relationship or you ended a friendship or you just didn't fully end something and just, you know, or or maybe you were forced to end something. But I feel like some of you just left some or left somebody hanging and just decided, you know, you're looking for your other like someone who matches you fully. Let me see temperance. Yeah, okay. <laughs> So I feel like you don't want any drama. This is what's crowning down on you, the Seven of Swords. You don't want any drama. You're leaving that. You're sneaking away so you can keep the peace. That's your energy here, okay? You're you're sneaking away. You're running away. You don't want any conflict. Anything that's going to dis disturb your peace, any lies, cheating, manipulation, theft, anybody crossing your boundaries, you're like, no, I'm out of here. You're not dealing with that. You have work to do, Virgo, and you know you have work to do, and you know some of you are setting yourselves up to be available in the future for somebody if you're completely single. And if you are dating somebody and you're looking forward to seeing how things could go, I feel like, well, with you, your intentions are really good. Okay. Yeah. So that's what I was saying. You have this, the five of swords. So again, uh, you're getting out of abuse. Maybe some of you are in this thought process now. Maybe you're thinking you were in an abusive relationship or you're not sure, or your thought process is like, you know, you're trying to have peace. Uh, you cut away from some type of 
relationship with someone who was lying or cheating in the past. Okay. But going forward in the near future, you have the six of swords. So, man, you're, you're like, you're really making some kind of transition. You might be relocating or moving soon, maybe in July or going on some kind of a journey. This feels like a mental journey. It's like something, you know, you need to get out of or get away from. Um, I see you actually, man, making these moves. I see you making these moves here. As of right now, as you're listening, it might just be like oh, a thought or you know you need to do it or you know you need, you, you know what you have to do, um, but there might be some residual left over. I feel, Virgo, that you're going to actually start making some serious chess moves, not little moves and not having any doubt. I feel like towards the end of or the middle, towards the end of July, you're really going to know what you need to do. Okay. That's what the Six of Swords is. It's like go time facing my fears and just doing it and letting go and knowing that when you let go it's not going to be easy but it's going to be worth it your advice here is the hanged man okay um your advice here is as of right now take a look around you and see where like look at the chess table and see what um See what pieces you are able to move. They just gave me the serenity prayer. How does that go again? Uh, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and to, the wisdom to know the difference. So I feel like this is the energy. This is what this card is telling you right now is to, you know, really take a whole cold, hard look at what you can maneuver and what you can't and make your chest moves accordingly. Don't try to force things that you can't force. No. Um, it's like try to be strategic and see the moves ahead of you. Okay. So if you go left, what would be the outcome of left? What are the possible outcomes? If you go right, what are the possible outcomes there? Um, so right now, you know, th there is moves that need to be made, but it's important that you make the right moves in order to be a winner. Okay. Um, and that's your strongest advice here with your life. Yep. Look, we got the knight. Okay. So I think your knight is going to be the one. It's going to be slow. Um, I, I don't see you like with a checkmate right away, but I feel like start with the night. What does that mean? That means that we, we take our time. We think about it and we, we move our first night and we, we figure out, I, I don't know all that much about, I played chess for a little while, but it was a long time ago and I forget. <laughs> Some of you maybe just need to sit down and start playing chess again. I don't know, or find a chess partner. Um, yeah, but I feel like for you, you're not rushing. If you rush, you're, you're, you're going to trip. Don't rush. Be strategic, Virgo. You're very strategic. Okay, what's external to you? Somebody's here with an extreme heartbreak. Okay, somebody's here hmm, having regret or remorse or loss. There might have been a divorce or a separation or an argument. Okay, um, this is what the energy is of this person. Now, whether that's with you or somebody else, I don't know. It's just the energy that they have right now where they're, I feel like this person, there might've been like um, them and two other people, maybe you and another person or them and two other people, but there's like a fallout happening here with this person. Let's see what more is going on with them. There's some kind of a fallout. If you were dealing with someone that was like a liar or a cheater, because you do have the seven of swords up there where your thought process is like, yeah, this person was, I don't know. They might be getting their karma or something's happening or they're heartbroken over you leaving or something stings. Give me a card, please, spirit. What is the energy for this person? Hold on, you guys. Okay. Oh, page of cups. <gasps> yes. And the five, the five of cups. Oh yeah. Third party. 
this person, I guess they were talking to other people and they were communicating maybe with you and some others. I don't know. Or some other, or they were dating. Like this, it's just not going well for this person. I can tell you that right now. I don't know who they are. Uh, to you, you might know who they are, but third party, third party. Okay. Three, um, this person's getting rejected. Okay. Getting rejected. They were, I think, just out there. Um, you're going to get an apology of some sort from this person if there was some kind of cheating or something. Yeah, they're they're going to try to come in with this page of cups. Apology. They're going to offer their love volunteer because they're just like, they're losing out here. Things aren't going well for them. Um, so I definitely am going to say expect some kind of, it's not a big, long, drawn out four page letter apology. It's, it's like maybe a text or a phone call or something like, I'm sorry, I love you and miss you. Um, there might be some regret or remorse in return. But Virgo, it looks like you're hoping for new love here. This is what you want. You've got the... You, you may not know who you want or what you want if you're completely single. You know you're looking for someone to match your energy. But I feel like with this Ace of Cups, like... Your hopes and wishes is to start over, start new, have new love um, in some form, okay? That Ace of Cups could be, for some of you, um, having a child or um, having something that's going to make your heart sing, you know? Your heart has not been singing. Your heart's just been kind of like there, but it hasn't really been feeling fulfilled. There hasn't been anything new for, for a little bit of time for some of you. And it's like you just want your heart to sing again. So I feel like that you're keeping that hope alive, that love will come in. Um, let me see what your outcome is here. All right, so hmm, you have the Five of Pentacles in reverse and the Queen of Cups. So for you, Virgo, I definitely feel like you get into that love energy with the cups there, feeling your emotions. I, I feel like you're... So I'm not necessarily feeling like love is coming in just yet, but I do feel like you're getting yourself in a position to receive, okay? Because you're, you're by the end of this month, you'll be back in the game, all right? That five of pentacles in the reverse is like no longer feeling cold. Your heart begins warming up again. And I feel like for a lot of you, it could, and that, yeah, it might be where these kisses are coming from in this abundance here. Now, for some of you, this could be, um, well, it could be a water sign showing up at the end of the month, um, trying to come back into your life, really feeling their feels here. But that might be just more of a prediction. I feel like you're, I feel like you're making some, like I said, some serious chess moves here. You're being very strategic and trying to pick yourself up and start your life over in some ways for some not for all of you let me see yeah i see you trying yeah, i see you gaining your strength here and your courage courage to love again that's for sure you know because love is not going to come in until you're open to receive it because you know it's like if you think about like a particular like red colored car did you ever notice how like when you think about that car or you see it or you, you got some kind of tap, then all of a sudden you see it everywhere because you've opened yourself up to it. That's why you keep seeing it more. You're more um, focused on that. So love probably has been coming to you, but you may have been stuck on something in the past or still healing from something from your past. Um, but this time I feel like this is kind of how you manifest love in your life is when you open your heart to receive, then, then you're telling the universe, I'm ready to receive and the universe, you know, matches that for you. Okay. So I know sometimes it's like, well, you know, you've been on your own, you haven't met anyone, but you have, you've met people, but you might not have been ready to receive love at the time. Okay. So I feel like that energy is going to play out. Now, I can go into the extended reading to see what's going on with this here. So if you want to check that out, definitely click the link below the video. So you can, if, if you're in that position to find out what this, this situation is, you can click that link and that, yeah, like I said, that'll be posted at the bottom. But let me just do a couple more cards to see 
what other messages there are here for you. What are the love messages for Virgo? Okay, unrequited love, okay. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So whoever you are at this time, okay, based on this reading, I feel like this is profound, okay. There's, there's something I feel like that you're coming to terms with. You know, for some reason, maybe at one point in the past there was enough attraction or chemistry, but for some reason... That doesn't seem to be playing a role in a relationship moving forward. I feel like for some of you, it's like a love lost. It's like a, a something that didn't pan out or didn't go the way you wanted to or you were hoping to. And this is like an unrequited love, unrequited, unrequited love situation here where it's like time to move on for some of you. And so maybe you're having moments where you feel sad or you're feeling down or you're just trying to reorient yourself in your life getting back to self and that happens in relationships when marriages or relationships end you have to get used to being on your own again um, and some of you may have been on your own for a while and you're still reorienting yourself but I feel like in July you're really going to get that that change is really going to come that transition yeah freeing yourself see a lot of you are just you know time to take back control of your life so a lot of you are getting back into that energy a lot of you are just like f this this is you know this person may not be in your life or may not have been in your life for years and years <coughs> excuse me so much um but you may have like held on or had hope or just remained friends. And I feel like some of you are even just going to cut that off and just completely free yourself 100%. Others of you have already done that. But I feel like if you haven't had new love in your life, it's because you haven't really been able to reposition yourself to receive fully. And I know you might say, well, yes, I have. Well, Maybe this is not your reading, um, or maybe you fully haven't embraced it, ye like 100%. Maybe it wasn't time, or it's not time, or it hasn't been. But I see you making this change in this transition. Yeah, some of you, it was, for some, it was just about forgiving and learning, you know, learning from the past. Some of you maybe need to, in your heart, not to this person, but in your heart, just forgive this person for being a shit stain and say, Oh, well, you can't help. You can't help it. That's, that's, they can't help it. That's who they are. They're not going to change. And this is a part of releasing and healing your, your past. So you can have more love in your present, right? For some of you, it's kind of hard to get into a new relationship with someone when your ex is the ghost of your, your past person, your, whoever they are is still kind of lingering. You know, you got to get rid of those ghosts, get rid of those ghosts. Um, see what other messages there are here for you. Okay. All right. Luck is on your side. The wheel is turning in your favor, Virgo. That's what I was saying. You have the Midas touch. Good things are coming now. So be ready. Yes, you deserve this. Karma is on your side for all the good. That you have put out it, this is coming back around and it's going to be huge for you this is a turning point oh you've got twin soul wow that's the lover's decision you're definitely making a decision about love um now this is a, now i don't know who this is for but this card says communicate your love to the divine for some of you jesus is your twin flame be thankful for this twin soul love. You've been chosen for one another. Even when times are tough and seem back and forth, this love is meant to be. It's time to reconcile. So that's very beautiful energy. Um, and that might be for some of you. And you might want to go to the um, the um, extended reading to see if this is resonating for you. Also, message from an admirer. And I feel like that's going to be <laughs> this person coming in. But for some of you, there could be another person who's communicating with you that could be somebody new coming in could be somebody you're already talking to who is your twin soul 
okay? Um, or someone you could be meeting in July, new, okay? As you open yourself up to receive or position yourself to receive, um, coming in with like a little love message or a text message and also money in the bank. Well, we like that, right? Um, you're looking good. You had the 10 of pentacles, Virgo. So you're looking good financially in July in one way or another. Maybe there's going to be for some, some money's coming in, you know, like a deposit of some sort put into your bank account. Okay. Yep. See, a loan is offered. It's funny how, when I say it, and then the card shows up, some of you are getting that loan that you applied for, or you may just get a loan that's offered to you in July, put some money in your bank account, be able to spend, do some of the things you want to do, buy that home, buy that car, relocate, move. And okay, you got to stand your ground here with something, Virgo. Don't be messing around now, Virgo. Don't be a doormat. Don't be a people pleaser. No one respects that. Okay, you can be assertive, but stand your ground with people, whomever, anybody, everybody. Okay. Somebody's spying. Somebody's watching you. Okay. Watching you online. Seeing what you're up to. Seeing what you're doing. Could be that person. This doesn't have to be a past person. Just remember that for some of you. This could be somebody um, that you could be connecting with. Or there might have been a third party situation. Um, or there could have been like some sibling rivalry or something. Somebody coming in to apologize as well uh, let's see but somebody's watching definitely watching you in july they want to know what you're up to they want to see who you're talking to they want to see who's putting likes on your photos uh somebody's doing some background check on you good news about money i feel like spirits like no forget them we're talking about the money we're talking about the money. We're talking about this. This like has come up three times now. So that's definitely a strong message that some of you are going to be getting some type of payout of some sort, or you won't have to pay something back. Okay. I just heard that. All right. One more. Okay. Struggle, challenge, and some competition. A little bit of drama. A little bit. <coughs> Nothing major. Um, some challenges coming up in July, but it, it's just kind of just to let you know, Hey, up ahead, there's some potholes in the road. We're just letting you know. So prepare to drive around them. Let me see what the, I, I want to ask what the, the struggle is going to be here. What is the struggle coming up for you? What is this struggle? Oh, okay. The wheel of the year, the wheel of fortune. Hmm. Oh, well, they just said somebody might try to ask if they can borrow some money. <laughs> but you, but you'll have it to give, I guess, because you're gonna get something. Um. Okay. Four of cups. Okay, so. In a more on a more emotional level um, this struggle is going to be to um, for some for some to become indifferent to make the change to become indifferent and move on okay um, you also might have a surprise come in from somebody um, where they've made some kind of a decision there's a turning point or a change in um, a financial situation or something in your love life and um, I feel like that's going to come in as a surprise, like unexpected kind of thing. But I also feel like for some of you, this might have something to do with where are you going to put all those funds? What are you going to buy? <laughs> or you might have some people kind of trying to hang on to you <clears throat> when they find out, <clears throat> excuse me, about some kind of money situation coming in for you. All right, let me check some signs here. Let me check some Chinese signs and see what the Chinese zodiac has to say. Who's who? Who's what? Okay, you've got the year of the horse. So for some of you, this could be you or it could be your person. Uh, oh, there's a double horse there. 
Okay, year of the monkey, year of the dog, year of the goat, year of the ox, double ox, year of the tiger. We're going to pull one out of the middle here. Year of the rat, and year of the snake. The snake showed up yesterday, didn't it? <clears throat> okay. Let's get some dates and then some charms. All right, so we have a Cancer. Gemini is always showing up in these readings. Let's see. All right, we have a Leo. A double Leo. Okay. Get a couple of charms here. All right, so let's see. May 8th, uh, area code 503. Um... Let's see, June 19th. Um, mm, I'm just hearing, okay, September. I'm sorry, August. Oh, they're giving me August 27th, um, August 23rd. Mm, August 25th and the 28th okay and then I'm getting July 11th I'm also picking up somebody is 33 years old oh oh and they just said if you might be seeing this number a lot I don't know but we've got 333 333 there's something with the number of three you know uh, there's something that I read um, we know what these numbers stand for but when people lie, I don't know if you'll notice, if you've ever noticed this, but when people lie, they tend to, if they, they use the number three a lot when they lie. So that like, for example, somebody will say, well, I only texted him or her three times, or, um, let's see, um, we, we only talked for like three minutes. It was nothing, you know, or, um, they say, well, I only had three cookies when they had 12. You know what I mean? Like pay attention to the number three. Also, <clears throat> excuse me, you've got that here. This is the, the three and the three here. And lies sometimes can be asso uh, associated with the number three. Okay. So I feel like that's something there for you to pay attention to. I don't know why. Hold on. Okay. So you also have money which we were talking about, which is very good. You've got, well, this is actually a hundred dollar bill. So you might be getting a few hundreds. You might find one too on the, like folded up on the ground. And if nobody's around, it's yours, babe. Okay. You've got a golden rose. Okay. A golden rose. That's interesting because that's the second time here. Now we're getting the word rose okay maybe somebody's name is rose or you live somewhere where there's roses or uh, you have roses somewhere you see uh, maybe uh, there's a street or something to do with rose you're drinking some rosé but something here with roses are very uh it's symbolic for you you might be receiving a rose from somebody or this is just for some with the sword in the rose this is like Mm, clarity about love clarity about the heart okay so you also have a reindeer here and this looks like Rudolph maybe somebody's name is Rudolph or Bambi maybe somebody's name is Bambi um, there's something to do with where the deer live or the fawn or somebody somebody <laughs> is fine my grandson just came in hold on you guys I'm sorry he's really he just came home from school and he's like really tired um and we also have i think this is um i don't know what kind of bug this is a moth i think it's a moth like a moth to a flame maybe you watched that godzilla and mothra thing i don't know maybe you just saw that why would that even come to me? I don't even know. And a blue little rocking horse. Okay, there's something to do here with horses and deer. You might live somewhere where there's horses and deer. Um, 
or you're seeing them, very beautiful. Um, and this blue horse is making me feel like um, a black stallion. Uh, they just said black stallion. So I don't know exactly what that might resonate with you for something, a black stallion. And you also have this red diamond, okay? So is there a red diamond or pink diamonds? I think there might be. Um, mm, they just told me uh, tablecloth. They just said tablecloth. So maybe you have like a tablecloth with a red tablecloth or something with geometric shapes or diamonds on it. Very interesting. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave your reading there. And I will go over to the extended for those of you who are interested to see what this apology, third party, heartbreak, this person's really going through it. They're grieving. They're remorseful, regretful, something to do with you. Um, why does my finger look yellow? Something to do with you um, or a third party or re remorseful or regretful about a heart heartache, heartbreak, or something that was said and an apology coming in. But we'll see if it's going to go anywhere if you care. If you don't care, don't worry about it, okay? But I will definitely go over there. Link will be in the description box below. So yeah, I will see you guys this weekend. If you are um, a member of my channel, join me on Saturday. Actually, I'll let you know because I think I'm going to be changing it the day. Um, but join me. It's either Friday or Saturday. I'll let you guys all know. Check my community tab. Make sure you subscribe and you tick the notification bell and make sure that you enable it in your phone. Because if you tick the notification bell and you don't enable it in your phone, you're not going to get notified. Okay. You have to enable that in the, like in your settings, in your phone. You have to do it twice. YouTube doesn't tell you that. So if you guys are able to do that, that'd be great. And then you'll know when I upload even my videos, but also in the community tab. So I will put in there um, when I'm going to be doing the live. It's for, so if you're a member of my channel, join in. You're already a member, so you can ask your questions. But if you don't want to join, which I don't know why you wouldn't, because I got some great stuff here for you, content, but it, it, to join is $9.99 a month. Um, and so you can ask as many questions as you want on Saturday for personal mini readings or Friday, whenever I go live. But if not, um, it'll be $20 for one card. So you decide what you want to do there. Okay. All right, you guys have a great night and I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.